Hi there, it's Kalen from Kite, the AI autocomplete for Python. Today we're going to use Python to solve the valid parentheses interview question as seen on LeetCode. LeetCode is a website that has many interview questions that are often asked at the top tech companies like Facebook and Google. In this video, we'll go over an example LeetCode question so you can ace your next interview. Let's get into it. So here's the valid parentheses problem. Given a string containing just parentheses, square brackets, and curly brackets, determine if the input string is valid. In order for an input string to be valid, the open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets, and open brackets must be closed in the correct order. So let's go through some examples. String 1 will return true as it satisfies all the conditions. String 2 will return false as the brackets are not closed in the correct order. String 3 will also return false as not all open brackets were closed. To solve this problem, we can use a stack and iterate over the string. In particular, we can use the stack to keep track of which brackets are opened and need to be closed. For example, for a string, we want to keep track of when a sub-expression is properly matched. So as we iterate over the string, and if we encounter an open bracket, we push it onto the stack so we know which bracket needs to be closed. Now if we encounter a closing bracket, we check the element on top of the stack. If the element at the top of the stack is an opening bracket of the same type of the closing bracket, then we remove it from the stack and continue. However, if the open bracket is not the same type, this means that the brackets are not closed in the correct order, so we return false. At the end of our iteration, if our stack is empty, then we have matched every open parentheses with a closed parentheses, so we can return true. I wanted to take a moment to tell you more about Kite, which is an AI coding assistant that's being used in this video. Kite is a free plugin for your code editor that uses machine learning to save you keystrokes while you're programming. If you're using Atom, VS Code, Spider, PyCharm, Sublime, or Vim, Kite will seamlessly integrate into your coding workflow. Kite can complete entire lines of code and has a feature called intelligent snippets that will help you fill in arguments and method calls with variables defined earlier in the script. The window you'll see on the right side of my screen throughout the video is also a Kite feature called the Kite Copilot. It automatically shows you relevant Python documentation while you type based on your cursor location. The best part of Kite is that it's free and you can download it from the link in the description below. Let's make a function and call it valid parentheses to determine if a string s is a valid parentheses. We can use a list in Python as a stack in our algorithm. We can also use a dictionary to map each open bracket to the corresponding closing bracket, and we can then refer to this dictionary when we are checking if an open bracket is closed with a bracket of the same type. We can map a closing bracket to the corresponding opening bracket of the same type. To iterate over each string in the input, we can use a simple for loop. We can check if a character is a closing bracket by checking if it is a key in our dictionary. If we see a closing bracket, we want to check the top element on the stack. Calling pop on our list will return the first element in our list. If our stack is empty, we can use a dummy value for the top element. To check that we have the correct type of bracket to close the top element of our stack, we can use our mapping. In particular, if the value of the character in the dictionary is not the same as the top element, we return false. If it is the same, we continue on with our for loop. When the current character is an opening bracket, we can push it to the end of our list by calling append on the list. After iterating over all the characters in the string, we can check if our list is empty. If it is empty, then we return false, and if it isn't, then we return true. We can apply this function on the example strings to verify that the first string has valid parentheses, whereas the second and third ones do not. After printing the values, we see that string 1 is the only string with valid parentheses, which is what we expected. All right, now you can solve the valid parentheses algorithm problem. Hope you're feeling more prepared for your next interview. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll have more Python tips coming your way. And finally, don't forget to check out the Kite AI autocomplete plugin. The link's in the description below.